Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of definite integrals. And we are taking this question from year 2023 of JEE mains. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question tells us that limits from 0 to 1, 1 upon 5 plus 2x minus 2x squared in the other bracket, we have 1 plus e raised to 2 minus 4x dx. That is equal to 1 by alpha log to the base e alpha plus 1 upon beta. Where we have been told that alpha and beta which are present that are greater than 0. And we have been asked to find the value of alpha raised to 4 minus beta raised to 4. So we need to find the value of this entire expression where alpha is raised to 4 minus beta is raised to 4. And the four options that are given to us here, the options tell us minus 21, 21, 19, and the last option given to us is minus 9. So we need to figure out which of the following four options is the correct one given to us. Let's first try to solve the integral that is given to us. We need to frame this entire answer of the integral in this form. So we can just compare it and find alpha and beta. So let's first try to solve this integral. Integral of 0 to 1, 1 upon 5 plus 2x minus 2x squared and 1 plus e raised to 2 minus 4x dx. This is your entire expression. We know one idea from the properties of definite integrals that a to b f of x dx. I can write that as a to b f of a plus b minus x dx also. So if I use the idea, if I write this in terms of this, I can write this entire integral as, let's say this is i. So if I use this property, then i becomes integral 0 to 1, 1 upon 5 plus 2. Instead of x, I will write it as a plus b minus x. So 0 plus 1, 1 minus x, minus 2, 1 minus x the whole square. And the other bracket is 1 plus e raised to 2 minus 4 or minus x. Yes. Now if I further solve it, I get this entire expression 0 to 1. 1 upon 5 plus 2 minus 2x minus 2. A minus b the whole square gives you a square minus 2ab plus b square. So this is your first expression. The second bracket given to us here is. 1 plus e raised to 2 minus 4 plus 4x. So you get this entire expression. Now let's solve this further. So if I solve this further, I get i becoming 1 upon limits from 0 to 1. And the denominator, if I check it out, the denominator is 5 plus 2 minus 2x minus 2 times of 1, so minus 2, minus, minus 2 into minus 2x is plus 4x, and minus 2 into x squared, so minus 2x squared. So this is your first entire bracket. Second bracket given to us here is 1 plus e raised to 4x minus 2. Yes. So I have this entire expression as integral of 1 upon 0 to 1, this becomes 5 plus 2 and minus 2 cancels out and minus 2x plus 4x gives you plus 2x again, minus 2x squared. So the first bracket becomes same as the previous question which is given. So first bracket is same as the previous question. Now if I write this second bracket, I can write that as 1 plus e raised to minus, if I take out common, I get 2 minus 4 x. If I further solve this i, 0 to 1, 1 upon, first bracket is same as the previous, 5 plus 2x minus 2x squared. If I try to convert this bracket also in terms of the previous, I can write that as 1 upon 
वन प्लस ई रेस टू माइनस फोर प्लस सो दिस बेसिकली बिकम जीरो टू वन वन अपॉन फर्स्ट ब्रैकेट एज इट इज सेकेंड ब्रैकेट इफ आई फोर दो सॉल्वेट आई गेट ई रेस टू टू माइनस फोर एक्स प्लस वन अपॉन ई रेस टू टू माइनस फोर एक्स विच गेट्स मल्टीप्लाइड so you have this entire thing now let's solve this further so what i can do is the first one which was given to us previously if i mark it let's say one and the second which we have got here now if i write that i i have got it as 0 to 1 and after using the property i have simplified it to get 2 minus 4x upon here the first bracket is 5 plus 2x minus x square And we have e raised to two minus four x, so plus one. Yes. So if I put this a second equation, if I'm adding one and two together, let's see what I get. Adding one and two gives me i plus i is equal to limit from zero to one. The first expression is one upon five plus two x minus x square or two x square. Not only x square, so five plus two x minus two x square, and the second bracket is one plus e raised to two minus plus. Plus integral again zero to one. Here you have e raised to two minus four x upon five plus two x minus two x square. In the second bracket, we again have e raised to two minus four x plus one. Here, if I see what I get. I plus I, which is two I, that is limit from zero to one. Dx. Now in the denominator we have one same bracket that is five plus two x minus two x square. In the denominator the second bracket is also same, which is one plus e raised to two minus four x both sides. So if I have that one plus e raised to two minus four x. Numerator we have here one. Here we have e raised to two minus four x. If I add them together, I get one plus e raised to two minus four x. So once I get both of these ideas same, I can just cancel out, and from here I get i is equal to half limit from zero to one and one upon three plus two x minus two x squared. Now let's just try to completely solve this idea. So what I can do here is half common. If I even take from this, if I convert this into a perfect square, if I try to convert it, I can write that as five minus two x square, and this is plus two x dx. Now let's just convert this entirely to a square form. So if I convert it in the form of a square, i becomes half zero to one. One upon. So you have here five, and with x square, if I don't need this coefficient two, I'll divide throughout by two. And when I'm dividing by two, I'll have to multiply by two also in the denominator. So if I'm multiplying by two and I'm dividing by two, now what I get from here is this two goes out, gets multiplied with half, and becomes one by four instead of half now. So this becomes one by four. Here you have five by two minus. This becomes x square and this becomes plus x. So minus. If I take out common, it makes it x square minus x. Yes. Now if I try to solve this further, one by four limits from zero to one. One upon five by two. If I further try to solve this. If I want to find the third term to convert it into a perfect square, I can use the idea that we have already discussed previously. Also, third term we know it is half into coefficient of x that is minus one the whole square. So you get half into minus one minus half minus half square is one by four. So I'm adding and subtracting one by four on both sides. Since it is minus sign here, you have plus one by four means you are subtracting one by four. So I'll have to add one by four also to five by two. So that makes it x square minus x plus one by. So adding one by four and subtracting one by four cancels each other. Now let's try to again solve this further. One by four zero to one one upon 
if i make the denominator same here making the denominator same i'll multiply both sides by so 10 plus 1 11 11 by 4 this becomes x minus half the whole square now from here if i try to convert it i becomes 1 by 4 limits from 0 to 1 1 upon this becomes root of 11 by 2 the whole square and the other expression I have here is x minus half. Now, once I have this entire expression, I know it is of the form integral 1 upon a square minus x square dx, which is given by 1 by 2a log of a plus x upon a minus x to the base e plus. So, plus c, I will not write it here because we have the limits applied here. So if I just use the idea of the integral, i becomes 1 by 4. And if I use the idea, it becomes 1 upon 2a. a in this case is root of 11 by 2. So root of 11 by 2 basically cancels out your 2 here. And further, log of a plus x upon a minus x. So a is root 11 by 2 plus x. So x minus half upon root 11 by 2 minus x, so minus x minus half plus c, we don't write it plus c because I have the limits all written. So the limits are from c. So let's solve it for the Now if we apply the limits here, putting x equal to 1 and then putting x equal to 0, i becomes 1 by 4 root 11 and log to the base e. If I put x as 1, I get root 11 by 2 plus x minus half. So 1 minus half is half. So I get half. And denominator becomes root 11 by 2 minus half because minus 1 minus half. So 1 minus half is half. So minus half. Now if I put x as 0, I get this as log of to the base e. Root 11 by 2 minus half because 0 minus half is minus half. And here also it is minus half, so minus half into minus half becomes plus. So you get this as root 11 by 2 plus. Now once I have log of a minus log of b, I can write that sufficiently as log of a divided by b. So root 11 plus half upon root 11 minus 1 upon 2 divided by root 11 by 2 minus half upon root 11 by 2. So you get this a divided by b. Now once you have this entirely, get 1 upon 4 root 11 log to the base e. When it is divided, if I want to multiply this, the fraction basically becomes the reciprocal here. So it becomes root 11 by 2 plus half upon root 11 by 2 minus half multiplied with root 11 by 2 plus half upon root 11 by 2 minus half. So you get that entirely. Now, once you get this, basically it becomes the square of the terms because numerator is also squared and denominator is also same, so it also gets squared. So you get your 1 by 4 root 11 log to the base e. Root 11 by 2 plus half on root 11 by 2 minus half the whole square. If I have the whole square, if I take it on the front side, it becomes 2 by 4 root 11 and log to the base e, root 11 plus 1 upon 2, and root 11 minus root 4. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled out, get 2 1s are 2 2s are. So you have this entirely expression as 1 upon 2 root 11, log to the base e, you have root 11 plus 1, you have root 11 minus 1. Now once you have this entire idea, what I can do further here is, I can rationalize this. So if I rationalize this by root 11 plus 1 here throughout, I get this expression turning out i as 1 upon 2 root 11 log to the base e. This becomes root 11 plus 1 the whole square. And the denominator becomes a minus b into a plus b, which is a square minus b square. So I get this as 11 minus 1. So it becomes 1 upon 2 root 11 log to the base e. And here you get this as root 11 plus 1. This becomes 10. 10 I can write as root 10 
the whole square. So if I'm writing it in terms of whole square, I can write that as root of 10 the whole square. Two, if I take it on the front side, two upon two root 11, two cancels out log to the base t, e, root 11 plus one upon two. Okay. So we have this entire expression for the value of i that comes out of the one by root 11 log to the base t, e, and the numerator is root 11 plus one. So this is our entire expression. If I write the solution for the integral that was given to us as one by alpha log of alpha plus one upon beta to the base e. Now if I just compare it with this expression, I get alpha is root 11, beta is root 10. So once I compare this, I get alpha and beta. Now we just need to figure out the value of the expression alpha raised to four minus beta raised to four. That is root 11 raised to four minus root 10 raised to so root of 11 raised to 4 is 11 square, that is 121. 10 square, that is 100. The answer is 21. So I get this, that the value of alpha raised to 4 minus beta raised to 4, that is equal to 21. So if I see the option that matches here with the question, that is option. So we get the correct answer for the question which is given to us, that is option B. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question. So first we use this property of f of a plus b minus x dx. With that property, we got rid of the second bracket that was 1 plus e raised to 2 minus 4x. Once we got the rid of that, we just converted our denominator in terms of the whole square. And we got that as in the terms of 1 upon a square minus e x square. Just solve that in the terms of integral and apply the limits to get the answer in this form. Comparing it with the resultant solution given, alpha becomes root 11, beta becomes root 10. We just found the value of alpha raised to 4 minus beta raised to 4. That gave us the answer as option B. So B is the correct answer for the question. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue this series of questions on 11, 12th as well as zero degrees. So stay tuned for the videos which are coming out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in this preparation journey. Thank you.